If you've played Zeros at all, then you know behind me is the Anima patch where we plant our global seeds, which sometimes grant double raids keys, double drops, double clue scrolls, etc. And for this episode, I just so happen to have five chrono seeds in my inventory, which give double raids keys and double TOB luck. So, uh, I, I think you know where we're going with this. Seeing as how we completed the Chamber's collection log in the previous episode, we are going to be running five hours of the Theater of Blood with Brett on his hardcore as well. If you didn't know, Brett currently has a From Scratch TOA hardcore rogue account that he's been working on, and he's looking to get some purples too. He also has Rigor and a Twisted Bow, so these should be very, very, very fast runs. I'm not gonna lie, most of this video is probably going to consist of us saying stupid things and hopefully getting a ton of purples from TOB. So if that's not something you're into, go ahead and click off the video because this is not the one for you. With all that out of the way, let's get started, brother. Hello, hello, hello. Before we get started, we are going to be hosting another giveaway on this video. If you'll take a second to look at the screen, you'll see exactly what we're going to be giving away on this video. Yes, this is definitely not pre-recorded. All you have to do to enter is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. Good luck to everybody that enters, and with that being said, let's get started. Brett, can you hear me? Please unmute your mic. Do you want to do some T.O.B.? Get some purples at the T.O.B. What the f*** are you screaming? I'm not screaming, I'm serenading. Just wondering if you want to do some T.O.B., dude. Yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, purple time, purple time. Uh, stick it, stick it, stick it. Bro, you need to hit higher than a f***ing 10 right now, dude. Oh my f***. Are you? Nah, Venom will kill him. <laughs> No, it won't. <laughs> hey, yay, yay! Call it, Buster. Don't call me Buster, bitch. Bust that ass if you don't call me the fuck down. I'm gonna bust my balls if you don't bust my balls. Got a f stiffy, uh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's really stiffy, uh, ooh, yeah. If you really sticky, uh. Yeah, it's really stiff. Effigy, give me a sniff, yeah. <laughs> Be you, that stinks! All right, brother, good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh, burpee. <laughs> it's time to go back. I never left. Zumass. Can you not call me names anymore? Because it hurts my feelings sometimes. <gasps> Take that as a maybe. <laughs> good luck. Purple! Purple? Purple? My purple! <laughs> you! Yes, dude, yes, yes, yes. Justice here, 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 justice here. It's gonna be a sight. Boink! Oh, that's good. I don't have that. That's good. Yeah, it's a collection lock. Hell yeah. Oh, darn it. I got something I didn't have. Frick. You got a friend in me. Yes, sir. It is going to be my portable. No portable, no portable. You gotta tell me when it's time to swallow. Hello, it's time to swallow. I hope I steal this purple too. I'm not going I'll be really upset. <laughs> You'll be mad, dude? Ah, oh, I just don't get any. <laughs> Holy shit, 101. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Untradeable free armor, by the way. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Oh my gosh, another purple. We weren't talking about something weird. Another purple. Oh, yeah, he got a purple. You. Okay, you it's mine. No, it's not. You're the leader. First chest. Oh. oh, I mean, good job, dude. Congrats. Thanks for helping. Yeah, you're a dick. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no way, dude. I didn't even milk it. <laughs> what? No. I didn't even milk it, dude. What have way. I done? I ruined my clip. You're ready. What are you even doing here anymore? You can just leave. Bro, I just clicked it. I just, 30, I just fucking 35. clicked it. I like to feel very little accomplishment. This account's f***ed, bro. This doesn't feel real. And she's down, she's down. Decided to run a solo for a solo purple, so it's... Oh, mind you, it's gonna be the site. It's not even gonna be a purple. F*** me. Lame. All right, so change of plan for this episode. I'm actually going to go to next, which means I have to unlock the next door, which means I have to do all of the God Wars dungeon bosses at least once. Starting with Grardor, I actually have no idea if the Twisted Bow even hits on Grardor, but uh, I, I guess we're going to find out. Yahoo! Why do I have a Kratos following me? I don't own a Kratos. There's a Kratos following me right now. What the f***? I can't pick it up. Uh, also, sidebar, Twisted Bow does not hit on Grardor, like, at all. <laughs> Die, bastard. 
Oh, there we go. The Kratos is gone and my Dark Archer has returned. Please hit him. I'm tired of it here. See you later, mate. Give me that key, hat. Thank you very much. Zilliana down. Zilliana down. Give me my key. I just realized I brought a Seer's ring instead of an Archer's ring. I'm not mentally here today. Ah, I also have Piedion instead of Rigor. Jesus Christ, man. I just got hit a 50. Armadale down. Armadale down. Key, key, key. And that's the last key piece we need. Get me the hell out of here. Golly. Put them all together. What do you get? Ba -da -ba -da, my frozen key to open locks up uh, next. Ah. Oh, yeah. Let me in. Knock, 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 dude. And the A-Sort was just planted, so I'll bet there are people here. Oh. And I was right, waiting to go, beep beep. Zero next kill count by the end of this video, I'm hoping to be at least 100 and maybe, just maybe, have a few pieces of this collection log unlocked. Oh yeah, oh yeah, kill numero one. Give me the goods right now, dude. You know one KC drop? Surely three KC, of course, surely, surely, right? Off then. Ah, okay, since we're going so dry at next, bro, I guess now wouldn't be a bad time for a, uh, a little bit of a next guide. I would rate next at maybe a 4 out of 10 difficulty as long as you bring the correct setup. I would always recommend bringing Corrupted over Void unless you're going to be in a very large group, in which case, sure, bring Void, go crazy. Otherwise, if you're running 3s and 4s, you're going to end up taking way too much damage and have to bank very early. For the inventory, bring one Warhammer of any type. It can be bronze, iron, steel, rune, it does not matter. Bring a Warhammer to break people out of the ice block. Now that you know that information, if you do not bring a Warhammer, I am going to consider you an absolute leech. Be sure to grab a drop rate ring swap. I normally bring two overloads, but for the sake of this video, I'm only bringing one. Five super restores, 19 Ceridoan brews, and a drop rate pet. If you have access to it, be sure to also bring Irada's Blessing, so when you use the Prayer Altar in the next cavern, it will not only heal your prayer points, but also your HP. And if you really want to sweat it out, be sure to bring a Rune Pouch with Vengeance Runes for extra damage. I personally do not have Arata's Blessing, nor do I want to bring Vendrunes, so for this video we will be using neither of those. This is honestly the lowest tier setup I could recommend bringing without being a complete nuisance to the next lobby. Inventory stays the same, just bring any kind of Warhammer you can get your hands on. <coughs> A bronze warhammer takes nine smithing, by the way, so you have no excuse. This should be common sense at this point, but fellas, always be sure to V-panel it next. Her drop rate potential really isn't even that crazy, so adding an extra 10% on top of that could really help you out. I mean, it's helped me out, so take that with a grain of salt. Just some general information, after X amount of damage, next will awaken her minions. In order, they will summon from northwest, to northeast, to southeast, then southwest. I feel like this is important to put here so I don't have to include it in every phase explanation. Step 1 for next, find the person with the lowest magic defense and stay the absolute hell away from them because they're getting the cough. Step 2, if you brought a defense lowering hammer, use the specs on next, then swap back to your primary weapon. Time for the phases. Phase 1 is very simple. Stay away from whoever has the cough, pray mage, and deal some damage. After X amount of damage, next will awaken her first minion in the northwest part of the room. Simply attack it till it's dead, then swap your prayer to protect from range and run to the northeast side of the room. For phase 2, next will summon little shadows that deal stupid damage. Simply move one tile to avoid them. If you don't do enough damage quick enough, next will start chasing someone around the room. If you are the chosen victim, just lure next away from your team whilst they finish up the northeast minion. For phase 3, swap back to protect from magic and run to the southeast part of the room. During this phase, next will pick one person X amount of times to become a blood sacrifice. If your character's color changes, simply run away from your current position to avoid taking damage. If you fail to do so, you will take 50 damage instantly. For phase 4, simply keep your distance from next or else you could get caught in her AO the ice attack. During this phase, she has the potential to pick one person to imprison in a personal ice attack that can deal a heavy amounts of damage, as well as turn off the person's prayer. Very dangerous for hardcores. This is where the Warhammer comes into play. If you notice one of your teammates getting caught in this attack, simply equip your Warhammer and break off a part of the ice wall to null them from the damage. Continue to damage next, kill the minion, then finish her off to get your loot. One thing I'll say is you'll either get extremely spooned here or go incredibly dry. I have never met someone with a quote unquote fair next collection log. So if you notice a drop in the first 20 kills or so, congratulations, you're fixing to be a very wealthy man. With all of that out of the way, let's get back to the video. Fellas, I'm going to be real honest with you, this entire episode feels like an absolute nothing burger. 
Aside from the Avernic Defender Hilt, I don't really think we got anything done. I did a couple of hours of Nex for no drops, which is understandable. I did a couple of hours of Nightmare for no drops, also understandable. But I also did hours of TOB and had a sight snatched from in front of my face like taking candy from a baby, dude. I put so much time into this episode and have literally nothing to show for it. I just, I feel bad for you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm sorry. I know this is probably a very boring episode, but I, I, again, I don't know what else I can do, man. I really hate ending videos like this, but fellas, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, I will see you gorgeous bastards in the next one with hopefully a better upload. <sighs> Hey Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your short hair Do you even care? You got a bad attitude, mix it with a bunch of dudes And all you're left with is a menacing stare Watch that taste out your mouth, little princess How you gonna tell me that your life is worth